Welcome to the Jaron Jarvis channel. I am Jaron Jarvis. Today, I would like to introduce to you, my sister is gone, and an online video has something to do with it. I found my sister watching a video online last night, and I've trying to figure out what it was. I was going to her room to tell her she had to go to bed, but as I approached her room I heard a voice that wasn't hers. A quick look in showed me that she was watching a video. Before I tell you what I was hearing, let me explain the site she was on. It had a pastel colored frame around it that consisted of flowers and hearts. In the very center of the page was a video player. The video was of a person in a bunny costume, like one that a mall Easter bunny would wear, but it was creepier than even those ones are. I don't know what it was about it, it just didn't look right. The point of this description is that the website itself was very inviting and I could see it being very appealing to children, with lots of bright greens, pinks, and blues. The bunny in the video was speaking directly to the camera, but I didn't notice that for a moment. As I walked up to the room, I heard a cartoonish voice ask do you think you can do something for me? Shake your head if you can. That's when I poked my head around the corner and saw the screen, as well as my sister subtly nodding her head. I quietly kept watching you have a mommy, a daddy, a brother and a sister. Right? My sister nodded they all told me they want to come play with me, but they don't want you to come. That's not very nice is it? My sister shook her head I'm gonna come to your house and pick only one of you to come play with me. Do you know what you have to do if you want me to pick you? My sister nodded. Dot good. The bunny let out this comical, exaggerated laugh. Can I count on seeing you tonight? My sister nodded. I can't wait. The bunny began whispering, Your brother is watching us, get him first. That's when I burst in her room. I got to her before she could click away from the page she was on. By this point, I was under the impression she was on a Skype call or something, but to my surprise, it actually was a video. I went back to the beginning and the video played through the exact same way. I asked her why she was on the website and she just shrugged. I thought to get the URL to do some research but it was just a random jumble of letters and numbers. I clicked exit on the page, then went back and deleted her history. Then she went to bed. I went on my laptop and searched for any kind of site with some semblance to the one my sister had been on. The video wasn't on YouTube or any other video hosting page. I couldn't find a single shred of evidence that the video actually existed. I went to sleep, and after tossing and turning from wondering how the video was so coincidental that it said your brother is watching us, I fell asleep. The next morning, I woke up to a quiet house, which is a rarity there. I found my parents in bed, both stabbed to death, my younger sister, the one older than the one I told to go to sleep, smothered with her pillow, our dog with its neck snapped, and my sister who was watching the video nowhere to be found. The only evidence of anyone else being there was a stuffed bunny, with the likeness of the bunny from the video, sitting on the couch in our living room, with a note in its lap. The note read we'll be back for you, the police are currently investigating, but have no leads. Edit my sister is seven years old, using an old desktop computer. She mainly uses it for games, and parental controls are set. She most certainly wasn't on the deep web, and doesn't have access to Tor. 